Okay. Um, anyway, as we're continuing to chop this off a little bit, Now that brim of the hat also needs to be rounded off. So we're going to lose a lot of that. If you have a little V tool, uh, you can use it for this. It's great, those little micro ones. Uh, or great to do the beard a little bit later. I really don't know what type of wood this is. I have no idea. Um, it's very soft. could be basswood for all I know. It sure seems like it. If any of you have an answer for that, I'd love to know. So I'm going to take this back here and draw my face and the tassel portion on it. I'll be right with you so I can see it. Okay. That's what we're going to be doing here. Okay. So we have this cut out. And you can go back and make this a little deeper. So you can really see that it's carved. I'm just giving you the real basic on this. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that white. That's disturbing me for some reason. It's bothering me. So we'll paint it white a little bit later. And then I can see the contrast just a tad better. Alright, so we have that. We have the little white tassel at the top. We need to cut that out. So I'm just taking the point of my knife and following that and doing a stop cut. A stop cut is simply taking your knife down where you want that cut to stop when you cut in from a certain a direction. See, that's where it will stop, right where I put that cut at. All right, we're going to turn around and do the other side. I know this is really tiny to see. This size pencil is a nice size. It's not overly small and it's not overly big to put into a tree. That's about as long as I would want it. Um, I have my measuring tape here. Of course I don't. <laughs> When I need it, I don't have it here with me, but <clears throat> when I'm offline, I'm going to make things a little bit deeper. Um, okay, so we have that done, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the nose portion. Again, it's a little round. We're going to put a stop cut. See how I go from one side and then turn it around and go from the other side. Again, you want to be careful because it's rounded. This item is rounded. It's a little more trickier to carve. And right here where the eye should be, you're just going to push in a little deeper. Right? Where the eyes go underneath the hat there. Just like you would with the branch Santa. You can do snowmen. You can do all kinds of little uh, relief carvings in this as a nice little, um, if you have somebody that teaches, like a teacher in a school, it's a nice little project to give them, you know. And this wood has been pretty good, I, I can't complain. Seems to be handling the detail pretty well. Let me take it back here so I can take a little bit of a look here. Yeah. Like I said, I'm going to have to take it back here and work on it a little bit because it's kind of difficult to see because of the size. All right, so that's the note, the hat, okay, the brim, the nose. Now we're going to do the. Uh, the beard, or I'm sorry, the mustache. So we're going to put it down like so. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that to you. 
That's going to make it too deep there, but we'll take that out. That's what you got to be careful of because it's rounded. I just showed you what can happen if you're not careful. It can slip right down around. Try to take small cuts. Try not to do too much at once. Helps. And here at the nose, where the nose and that mustache meet, you want to make a little, that little triangular cut there right where the nose is. Give it some depth. All right. And then when this came up together, you want to dig that out a little bit. The underside, we'll put the mouth in in a minute. Remember to keep your knife nice and sharp. It's imperative. When you do something this small, you're not putting a lot of pressure behind it. Okay. A lot of you have commented on that cone snowman. You're really enjoying it. I'm glad to hear that. That was a fun little project to do and I was happy with the results of how it was going to turn out. I wasn't sure at first. Okay. See, it's merging out. We'll be back for another segment in a little bit.